Hello, it's your boy Zoobs. Here with another video. Now it's no secret that I like Animal Crossing. You could tell that from the fact that I made a video about Animal Crossing Wild World back in 2020. Or you could tell that by the fact that I have an Isabelle amiibo. Despite being an Animal Crossing fan ever since the DS game, I have never played the Wii game. And one funny thing is that this is the only console game other than New Horizons and the original on the GameCube. Shut up Amiibo Festival doesn't count. So I decided... Why not do a video about city folk? I mean, no one else is gonna do a video about- So the first face we see in the game is Rover. From the GameCube game. And New Leaf after this game. And now we're on a bus. And by we, I mean me and Rover. For this game, my name is Zuby. Insert random did you just assume my gender joke here. So I heard through the grapevine that there's this cool place called Bruttown. Gotcha. So Bruttown. Yeah, I hear that place is really lovely. You must be so excited about your new life there. So excited. But there's just one problem. I don't have a house. Look, Rover, I'm 20 years old. I don't need to be lectured on how to live my life. I can live it just fine. For example, it actually- So, Rover shows us a map of Bruh Town and... Well, it looks like I'm at my stop. I get off the bus, go to the town hall, and find a house. I mess around in the house for a bit, and then leave, and then, oh, what do you know, Tom Nook happens. He gives you the house for holy crap and he gives you a job just like in wild world i forgot to mention the fact that tom nook gives you a job in wild world in be back in my wild world video also speaking of wild world notice anything familiar could it be something simple like the villagers or could it be something blatantly obvious like y y the fact that this game has the exact same music. I think it's freaking obvious now that this game is derivative of this game. Anyways, the reason I didn't really mention the jobs that Tom Nook makes you do in Wild World is because they're they're just not ver that memorable. It's just saying hi to everyone, then planting trees and flowers, and then delivering things, and then writing things and stuff. And yeah, that's it. There is at least one difference that this game has from Wild World. And that's this city. It's got a barber shop, so you can change your hairdo. I got the frickin' Jack Frost cut. You can also make yourself into a me if that's what you want. There's also the theater with Dr. Shrunk. His name makes me think of this joke from Spongebob. You're a bit smaller than I imagined, Doctor. But I guess that's why they call you a shrink. <laughs> There's also the Happy Room Academy. I wonder if it's gonna be the focus of one of the games in the future. I wonder! Also, you all know the Able Sisters, right? Abel's the pure youngest one. Sable's the oldest one. And that's all the Able Sisters, right? No. There is another. 
say hello to LaBelle. She's a bit of a diva. The stuff that she sells are really expensive. So basically she just runs the Animal Crossing version of the Gucci store. Deep down, she's really superficial. So, for most of this video, I have not talked about the villagers in my town, so I'm gonna go do that. Let's start off with Gabby, who, as you all know from my Wild World video, I really love. Now, I don't mean to brag, but I'm at the top of her awesome list. Then there's Cody, who was in my... The original Wild World Town. And then there's Mint. And then there's Gaston, who doesn't really look like he's roughly the size of a barge. That's a Disney joke, everyone. The thing that I like about Animal Crossing is that it feels more alive than other games. The clock lines with the real clock in real life. The characters acknowledge if you're gone for a long time. And there's more things to do than talk to the colorful characters in the town. Like bug catching and fishing and digging up fossils and digging up gyroids and stuff. The reason I love Wild World so much is not just because of nostalgia, but also because, well, it's really impressive for the DS. And I played Salada Robo in Pokemon Black, so I know what impressive looks like. So since I don't really know how else to end this video, I might as well just do a house tour of my house in Animal Crossing. Enjoy. Right there's Gappy's house. There's my house. And it's a level two. There's a gnome. There's a fish. There's a hopper right here. Here's a cricket. Right here's a cicada. We got a froggy chair. There's a snail right here. And right here's a mini metalloid. There's a couch. There's a tape deck. There's a light blender. And here's the closet, which has lots of stuff. And right here's the bed. And yeah, that's 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 my. Hey, okay, back back to the original video. So, Animal Crossing City folk, is it as good as Wild World? Nope. Is it better than Amiibo Festival? Hell yeah. But anyways, uh, that was the video. If you enjoyed, then click the like button. If you're new to my channel, then click that subscribe button and ring that little bell right there. That way you'll get all the notifications in the next episode of Zuby Plays Animal Crossing and talks about it on YouTube. I'm gonna be talking about the game that introduces best girl. So. Keep an eye out for that.